Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. My name is Melissa Armo, and I own a company called The Stock Swoosh, and today here I am to review the SPY. Guess what? Market is higher. I've been saying that all along. So many emails I've been receiving from people saying, no, the market's bearish. I've taken a lot of criticism from people who were saying, no, we're not going higher, and this, that, and the other thing. But the fact is that we really are going higher. And after the last two days in the market, we absolutely look like we're going to make a new high, which I've been predicting for quite some time. Now, how was I able to do that? I look at the gap, the market gap this morning. Let's look at it. Actually, it gapped yesterday too. The market had a beautiful, amazing gap up yesterday, Tuesday. So here you have on here the 23rd, where we closed at 205.21, we gapped up. This is gorgeous, actually. And we gapped up and opened right here, boom. Snug as a bug in a rug at 206.17. And we just basically power trended and rallied all day. Great move up for the market. $2 plus, nice fat green bar. And guess what? We had follow through in a gap up today. And on the line of day, we're even following through. This is another bullish gap in the market. So we closed here and gapped up then today. The market's higher, and I've been predicting it all year. One of the things I do very well is predict what a stock or, or any chart, and this just happens to be the chart of the SPY, I can predict what it's going to do based on the gaps. Reading gaps is a sophisticated way of making stock prediction. You have to learn how to read the gap, though. This is what I teach in my gap class, but it absolutely works because I can predict something like this market move when literally almost everyone out there has been screaming bearish, bearish, bearish. And people were staying bearish when this activity was happening in here in the last few weeks in May. And I wouldn't say it was bearish, but it really wasn't bullish in the way that I wanted to see the follow through after we had this beautiful rally here back at the end of April. We didn't, we didn't go anywhere with it. And maybe we didn't, looking at the chart now, taking a step away, because we literally, from the low in here well, since then, which was February 11th, we almost just went vertical up. So we just weren't ready to go higher yet. But you know, we're definitely doing it now. I and mean, we're definitely doing it. We're gonna make a new high in the market, and I predicted it. And so many people didn't believe me, and then just because we didn't shoot right up doesn't mean we weren't gonna do it. I made this call weeks and months ago for people that are in the slider options long. And some people are short, and the market's not as short. It never was a short. It never was a short. We held the uptrend. This was a great call. This alone is one of the most amazing calls I've made and is one of so many reasons to learn from me and take my gap class. Because many people out there that trade think they know how to read charts correctly. And maybe they know how to read support and resistance, but it doesn't tell you what the next move is in the stock. Being able to predict what direction something is going to go in in the gap, what direction something is going to go in in the chart based off of the gap, even with the targets and the numbers and the areas that it will hold is something that I teach in my class. My class is the sophisticated way of trading the market, but it is very simple once you learn it because you just look at the 26 points and that's all you have to go through in the morning to figure it out. But there's just, this is just, fantastic. So I've taken a couple days off and sometimes it's good to do that. You step away and all of a sudden you're like, oh, there it is. Perfect. Once again. And we just couldn't look better. I mean, we only have two more days left in the week, but so I don't know what we do, but we look terrific now in the market and we're not even getting that kind of blow through that I talked about yet, which kind of happened a small amount in here and I'm just trying to, this is just nice steady buying going on the last two days, by the way. I mean, it really, it really may not happen until we get over 212. We, it may not happen until we get over the high. So people have shorted the market and they may not cover until we get over the high. So we may not blow higher until we get over 215. We may, we may get over 215 and just go shoot up like a rocket right up to 220. That would be amazing. And it would be really amazing if it happens sooner rather than later. <laughs> So if you would like to learn how to predict what a stock or any ETF or the U.S. market is going to do, then it is necessary to learn a strategy that can predict that. 
My Golden Gap course and strategy is sophisticated enough to be able to predict what somebody's going to do, even when many places and people out there were calling the market bearish and reading just trend lines and moving averages and higher highs and higher lows and lower highs and lower lows and pivot breaks, everyone was staying bearish. And even the 200 period moving average, which is this red line, had started to slope down. And yet, we were not in a downtrend. We were holding the uptrend. And the way I know is because of the gaps. So great call by me. And I'm very happy. Everyone that's in the spider options, good luck. And if you'd like to sign up for the next Golden Gap class, it is June 11th and 12th. And I'm running a Memorial Day special through June 1st for everyone to be able to learn my system, take the GAP class, and get a lot of assistance from me. I'm offering three months free in the live training room, three mentoring sessions. Everyone's learning curve is different, so between being in the live room and getting my calls and then also getting the mentoring sessions, I really, really think it's just going to be fantastic for people and they will get up to speed sooner rather than later this summer for the next quarterly earnings season, which will be third quarter. Have a great day, everyone. Email me at melissa at if you'd like more information. Thanks and have a great day.